We're back with uh, Pies and Thighs Baker, uh, Sarah Buck, who's responsible for the pies of Pies and Thighs, <laughs> as well as the restaurant's flaky biscuits that we're making today. So how do we start? We're going to put some pastry flour along with our leavener and our salt and sugar into okay. the food processor. And this recipe will be on our website, mm -hmm. uh, and it's two and a quarter cups of pastry flour. Yep. And then we have four and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay. This makes how many big biscuits? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yep. Two and a half teaspoons of sugar. Mm -hmm. A big pinch of baking soda. Okay. That's because you're using buttermilk? Yep. Okay. Exactly. And two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of baking powder. Yep. And we'll stick all the butter in there. So why the pastry flour? Um, it just makes it a little lighter. Okay. You know? So three sticks of butter? Uh, yeah, exactly. Cut up icy cold. So you, you know, yeah, not frozen. You do the, I do it exactly the same way. I, yeah. I, I mix up part of the flour in the food processor because it avoids all that time cutting it in, exactly. right? Exactly. And you don't need all the flour in here, so we've left the AP out. Okay. Um, and I like the butter just from the fridge, not frozen. Not frozen, or right. Obviously not root temp. Okay. And you just pulse it until it's finer than a pie dough. We make it almost crumbly. Yeah, it works really well. And how many there cups of all-purpose? Um, we have six cups of AP here. Okay. And dump that so right in. Okay. And then we sort of start with a quart of buttermilk and... A quart? Yeah, a quart. So four cups. And then I always just leave some out because depending on the weather, the weather and the yeah. butter and everything. And so this is what you change. would normally cut butter into flour. It takes so long. I know, it grandma does. style. Yep. <laughs> and a lot longer. Yeah, just, yeah. Okay. So. so I'm going to leave about a little more than a half cup out. We can always add it. It's sort of a messy process pulling it all together. Do you do it with your fingers or scraper? I get it started with that, but okay. then we'll dig in. Okay, so we'll just move it around. Yep. And uh, so you want a crumbly dough, but one that'll stick together. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And this dough we need more than you'd see a traditional biscuit now, getting needed. Do you use regular buttermilk? You don't use skim buttermilk. Um, we use, it's one and a half percent fat, oh, okay. and we use salt free just so we can control the amount of salt in it. Now, do you think you need a little more? Looks a little dry. See. You know, I think once we dump it, it's just going to okay. be perfect. So I'm going to give you some to work on. I'll, I'll have mine right here. Okay, great. Okay. There you go. Now I'll drink the rest of the buttermilk. <laughs> I love buttermilk. It's so great. Do you drink it? I don't, but I'm a oh, big well, believer in yogurt. Here, you start. Keep going, because okay. I have to check the chicken. So you just want to shove the heel of your hand into the dough, and I just keep rolling it back on itself. Like the chicken's not brown yet. It's gone. Yeah, it will. So, so you work it quite a bit. I do, and I feel like the little bit of incorporation that the butter gets helps it uh, make it so that it's not uniform. We want the, you know, the air from the butter to make it flaky. Yes. But if the butter's too cold, then we sort of have paste you know, you're, around butter. You're right butter. about the amount of buttermilk. Yeah. Yeah, we have enough. Yeah. That's for me. So this way everything, uh, you know, the butter's not left out of the process, so you have like something Oops. sticky. My bread board's moving. Okay. So I just sort of get it and get the edges all evened out on the side. A little bit of flour. Mm, beautiful. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. There. Nice. And we like a tall biscuit, so it's a little bit of a cheat to leave the dough really high. Okay. Like that. So, but you're supposed to get how many out of this? Sixteen. We're, yeah, we're each going to get eight. But okay. we also, <clears throat> also not traditional. We re-roll it a whole bunch, uh -huh. and I feel like the second and third rolls end up the best. We get the really big flakes. Really? Yep. Oh, good. That's good to know. And because when you cut, we want to go straight down. So I flour between each cut and just up and down. Okay. If you twist, sometimes you'll get like a sealed edge kind of. Oh, yeah, I don't like and that. And so this way you get a really nice sharp edge. Yeah, and you another, can see. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Another trick, if it is a little wet, you can flip it over and the bottom edge is always like an exact 90 degrees, which is great. Two. Okay. So. And then what temperature do you bake? We bake it 425. Well, we have a convection oven, so uh, we do 400 for 13 minutes. Um, but for a home baker, we want to do 425 for five minutes just to get that real big pop.
pop of heat so that they'll fly up. And then 400 for, uh, yeah. when I get home, it's 18. Okay, okay. So, so you just push this all back together again? Yeah, exactly. Okay. This is so fun. Yeah. So Sarah has brought a biscuit for everyone in the audience.